Amen, amen, amen. Come on in, everybody. Let's go ahead and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Yes. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Ooh, Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise your name, Father. We glorify your name, Father. Hallelujah. God, we just repent of sins, God. Knowingly and knowingly, we just humble ourselves and we just repent. Anything in us, God, it's not of you. God, we pray that you get it out right now in Jesus' name because we want to be pleasing in thy sight, God. Creating us a pure heart, renew a steadfast spirit, God, in each and every one of us, God. God, draw us, God, close to you, Father God. And God, place a hedge of protection around us, God. Protect us from all the enemy schemes and plots in Jesus' name, Lord. God, I ask you to order our steps, God. And God, we bind up every distraction, every setback. We bind it up in Jesus' name. And Lord, we decree and decree we'll stay focused on you, God, and what we're called to do. And we'll even stay focused on our assignment in Jesus' name. We come against the attacks of the enemy. We bind a uh, witchcraft right now in Jesus' name. It has no authority over us. We rebuke that now in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we ask you right now to send ministering angels, send warrior angels right now to war on our behalf right now, God. You said in Psalms 91, Father God, that you have given your angels charge over us. At least we dash our foot against the stone. So God, we thank you right now that you have given your angels charge over us in the name of Jesus Christ, God. So God, we thank you, Father God, on today, God, for what you are doing, God. We thank you, Father God, right now, God, that no weapon for and against us will prosper in Jesus' name, God. We thank you, Father God, right now that you got your hand upon our lives, God, and that you're moving, God, for us, God, even behind the scenes. God, we thank you, Father God, right now that you're showing up with might, strength, and power, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, Father God, for just the things, God, that you promised us, this word you promised us, God. You said, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered to the heart of men the things that you have prepared for those who love you. And God, we thank you, Father God. You have some great, amazing things in store for us, so we refuse to doubt you, God. We're not going to doubt you no more, Father. We bind up unbelief. We bind up double-mindedness. We bind up just a wavering in our faith. You take authority over that in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we thank you, Father God, right now that you are just moving, Father God. You are moving, Father, right now in Jesus' name on our behalf, Lord. Even if we can't feel you or even if we can't see anything, God, we thank you that you are faithful, God. God, you are not a man whom you shall lie, neither are you the son of man whom you shall repent so we thank you god that you are the spirit of truth the holy spirit is the spirit of truth who's leading us and guiding us into all truth so god we know if you spoke it it settles it god so god we thank you that the things you've spoken to each and every one of us through the prophets through the apostles through your servants your evangelists your pastors your teachers god your, your lay members the righteous men and women of god we thank you that those words will come to pass those blessings will come to pass concerning our lives and none of those words will fall to the ground in Jesus' name. So, God, we thank you in advance for the homes, the, the cars, the provision, the benefits, God. You say you daily love us with benefits. We thank you, God, for the restoration, the promotion, God, the jobs, God. God, just, we thank you for the elevation. We thank you, Father God, right now for the open heaven over our lives, God. We thank you, Father God, for the increase, God, everything you promised us. We thank you, God, for the healing, for the joy, for the peace, for the strength, God, for the love. We thank you, God, for it all, God. We don't take that stuff for granted, Father. Oh, God, we need thee, Father. We recognize that you are our source, God. Some of us have been frustrated because we've been doing things in our own strength. But, God, we're not going to lean on our own strength, God. We're not going to lean, God, uh, on our own ability, God. God, we, you said lean not to our own understanding and all of our ways and knowledge you, and you will direct our path. 
So, God, we thank you right now that you are directing our path because, God, we need you, Father. God, touch those on this line that's in the valley of decision. Touch those, God, on this line. God, that is uh, at a fork of the road. They don't know if they should go to the left or to the right. Touch those on this road, uh, on, this, on this journey, Father God, that is dealing with so much, Father God. Uh, the enemy is trying to attack their mind. We come against attacks on their minds, attacks. And, Lord, I decree and declare that we have the mind of Christ on the day. In Jesus' name, God, touch the people's bodies on here, God, that are sick and have some kind of ailment, God. We take authority over that. In Jesus' name, and I command healing in the bodies right now in Jesus' name. God, touch those on here, God, that are dealing with some kind of abuse, God, behind closed doors, domestic abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse. God, we take authority over abuse and violence in the name of Jesus. We take authority. We can that devil out of our homes in the name of Jesus. Lord, for those on here that are dealing with rejection and is feeling overlooked, God, encourage them today. We bind up rejection right now in Jesus' name. For those on here that's feeling fearful, afraid, and dealing with all kinds of anxiety and fear, God, we snatch that fear out right now, and we send that stuff back to the pits of hell in the name of Jesus Christ, God, because you ain't give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So, God, we thank you, God, right now for deliverance right now, and even right now to feel someone you have a sharp pain on your side. It's your left side. Oh, my God, it's really sharp. I don't know if it's like your kidney or just something on that side. God, I pray right now for healing. Right now, in Jesus' name, God, we come against pain in the back, pain in the side. In Jesus' name, God, send right now your fire, right now, the fire of the Holy Spirit to go Deep God within God and burn up any sickness and uh, infirmities now in Jesus' name. God, touch this individual that I feel in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you, Father God, that you were even, I just see God even touching someone that is like your gag reflex has been crazy, like you've just been feeling nauseous and feeling like you just want to just be sick. But God, I pray right now that you touch this person's gag reflex. We come against oh, nausea. We come against vomiting. We come against sickness. We come against uh GI diseases, we take authority over it now in Jesus' name. We come against viruses now in the name of Jesus. And God, by your stripes, they are healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I just thank you. Even right now, I see a pregnancy test even coming before me. This, I'm talking to a married lady. God, I can even see someone right now. You want it. You have a desire to give birth. You have a desire um, to give birth to, uh, uh, you know, for your for your uh, spouse to give your spouse a, a seed, and I can even see this pregnancy test coming before my eyes. Amen. And you've been trying a while, Amen. But I see a positive test coming before me. I see just a, a, pre- a home pregnancy test coming before me. And God, I just pray right now, and I can even feel God's fire burning in my womb for someone on here. So I need someone to receive this, Amen. So Father, I thank you, Father. And you are opening up the wounds, God, that's been barren. We bind up the spirit of barrenness. We take authority over the strong men of barrenness. And God, open up the wounds right now in Jesus' name that the people that desire to uh, – produce seed, God, for their for their spouse, God. We thank you, Father God, right now that you are opening up their womb, God, and then it will be fruitful and multiply. In Jesus' name, which you are commanded, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And, God, we thank you, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. And I also see a parent, you are, uh, you are stressed out concerning your child. I see someone stressed out concerning your child academically. You know, you're having a hard time with your child in school. It's, 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 it's a lot on you. And God wants you to know right now it's going to be a shift in your child's grades. It's going to be a shift, amen, and your child's going to catch on and retain the information in the name of Jesus. And it's going to take the burden off of you, the stress off of you, amen. And you're going to be a proud parent. And you're going to say, God, you did this. This is all you. Because I remember uh, my child, I remember my child doing bad in school, but, God, you have made a way. You have heard my, my, my decrees, Father, in Jesus' name. So, God, I even thank you for the shift right now in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, I thank you, Father God, for everything that you're doing, Lord. And, God, we thank you, Father God, for a fresh anointing on today, God. God, part of fresh anointing, God, upon each and every one of us. 
so many of us are just going through the emotions. So we thank you, Father God, right now that for those that haven't felt your presence in a long time, God, pour out your fire right now. Consume them now. Because, God, you are all consuming fire, God. God, you are like a fire that's shut up in our bones, Lord. God, so I ask you right now to loose your fire, God, right now to fire baptism, God, and let each and every one of us feel you, Father God, your fire, your presence, God. God, take us to that secret place. God, take us, God, from the outer course into the holies of holies, God. Take us, God, to that place, God. Lord God, where we just want you, Father. We will just shed away, Father God, and seek your face, God. God, you said when we seek you with our whole heart, God, we'll find you. So, God, we thank you that we'll seek you, Father, with our whole heart, Father. In Jesus' name, so we're fresh, God, every person underneath the sound of my voice, God. Don't let them get weary and well-doing, God. Refresh them, God. Give those on here that are fatigued and tired, give them strength, God. Lose a a second wind, lose a second momentum for these people right now, God. Your people, Father, on this line, God. So many people wanting to quit and throw on the towel, God, but you're so faithful. God, we thank you for never giving up on us, God. We thank you, Father God, for never giving up on us, Lord. We thank you God, for even, God, uh, just causing your word to even manifest, even when it didn't look like it. And this is what God is getting ready to do on our behalf. He's getting ready to take some of those prophecies that we had on the shelf for a while and getting ready to manifest these words because he's faithful. He is the old faithful one. Amen. He's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Come on, he's the first and the last. And God, we thank you, Father God, right now that in the beginning there was the word, and the word became flesh, and Jesus was the word. And God, we thank you Father God, that your word is becoming this, uh, just manifested in our lives, God, as never before, Father. God, we thank you that you have spoken it, God, and it's settled. It is settled. It is done. Somebody needs to know it is done right now. And we're about to have some manifestations that some of us have even seen it in the spirit realm. We're about to have some manifestations in this season as never before. God, we thank you, Father God, even when things seem impossible. Come on, somebody on here is in an impossible situation, but it's not impossible to God. Amen. It may be impossible to you because you can't do it in your own strength. You, You can't do it in your own might. Only God himself can do it. And we have God's attention. Somebody needs to know this. Come on, you've been walking uprightly. You've been serving God. You've been decreeing, declaring, fasting, so on, whatever God told you to do. You've been obedient. Amen. And God has heard. Come on, God's getting ready to respond. I'm telling you guys this in the name of Jesus Christ. And God's about to make it happen. He's going to fulfill his word and his promises over our lives. God, we thank you, Lord, for fulfilling your word and your promises. God, your word, God, remains. Heaven and earth may pass away, but your word remains, God, and you're the God, you're the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. So, God, you worked miracles back then, and God, you worked miracles today, God. So, God, I thank you that this is a miracle season. I need somebody to receive this word today. This is a miracle season, and we're about to, Amen. come on, reap what we have sown. We're about to reap some mm-hmm. miracles. We're about to see some miracles yes. in this yes, season. Lord, somebody Lord. right now, God said it's thank impossible. You. It is impossible yes, for somebody God. on here, but mm-hmm. God said it's not impossible with me. Come on, your credit score ain't what it should be. Your income ain't what it should be. <clears throat> Some of you guys got so many denials. My God. Mm. Yeah. The enemy trying to choke me up on this word. Satan, I rebuke you. We're going to get this word out today because this word is going to manifest in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. That was thank you. It's about to come to pass. My God, come on. You have all this stuff stacked up against us. My God, some of us got all this stuff stacked up against us. It shouldn't even be so. But God said, my God, it's not too hard for him. And nothing is too hard for him. And we're about to see yeah. some signs, wonders, and miracles. We're about to see the hand of the Lord move mightily on our behalf. And, Lord, we thank you, Father God, when the bank said no. Thank when the Lord. lawyer's trying to get in the way, when the judge trying to say something crazy, God, you come through, Father God. Lord, when we have judgments against us, God, God, you right those wrongs, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, that Jesus is our righteous judge. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for the settlements being released, for the checks being released. My God, we thank you, God, for the turnaround, God. We thank you for the deliverance and the salvation in our household, God. Some of us have been praying for so long for some of our family members that are demonized to get 
saved and delivered. I decree and declare as for us in our house, we will serve the Lord. So any spirit in our house that's not of God, you got to exit the premises today. Vacate the premises today. We serve you a decree of eviction yes. and the spirit. Yes. Go right now in Jesus' name. Yes. Our family members will be saved. Our, our spouses will be yes. delivered. Come on. Our children will be delivered and saved. Come on. Our in-laws will be delivered and saved. Come on. Somebody right now you need to know. That if your spouse is serving another God, they're going to renounce that God, and they're going to bow down, come on, to the name above all names, because yeah. every knee will bow, every tongue will confess yeah. that Jesus yeah. Christ is Lord yeah. on earth, yeah. come on, above us and underneath the earth, you, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, thank I thank you, Lord. Father God, and I'm just seeing this word, this scripture come before me, come on, you know, in the house of Obed Edom, my God, you know, that had, come on, this, this false statue or something's a false statue, my God, but he was no match, it was no match, come on, for for the Ark of the Covenant, it was no match, and somebody right now, you're dealing with someone that, that has a lot of idols, my God, a lot of idolatry, but they're no match, come on, for Jesus Christ, they're no match for the power of God, they're about to be saved, they're about to recognize God is the real deal, they're about to recognize Jesus is the real deal, Jesus is Lord, he's the Lord of Lord, he's the King of Kings, yes, yes. in the name of Jesus, but so my God, somebody's spouse is getting ready to be saved. Somebody's spouse is getting ready to be delivered. Somebody's spouse is about to be delivered. Oh, God. I'm going to it. I'm going to so thank thank God, they're about to get saved for real, for real. They're about to get on fire in the name of Jesus. Come on. I'm telling you, I just see that statue falling in the spirit. It was a statue of dragon. It just fell. It was no match to begin to break. No matter how much they tried to establish it and put it back up, the head broke up, the arms broke up, the body broke up in pieces. And then I can see this so strong. Come on, that the idols are falling down. The idolatry is falling down. Come on, the false gods are falling down in the name of Jesus. Anything that maybe somebody's spouse them put in God's place, it is falling down. It's crumbling today in Jesus' name. Come on, addictions are crumbling today in Jesus' name. They're crumbling. Come on. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, adultery is crumbling in the name of Jesus. Anger is crumbling in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you once again. The idols yeah. are falling down. The idols are falling down. The idols are yeah. falling down. The idols are falling Thank down. You, My God. Amen. God Thank is going you, to establish, come on, an altar. Uh, come on, in someone's house. And it's, gonna, it's, it's called the altar of presence. Amen. I never said this yeah. before. Altar of presence. Okay. And it's his presence. Amen. And it may be a certain spot or a certain room. Amen. But it's something when your family member go in there, they're going to just. Oh, they're going to feel the presence of God. I'm like, what is this? It's the altar of presence because God has established himself. Come on, in your home, in your room, my God, in the name of Jesus, amen. And I thank you, God, for establishing the altar of your presence, God, in our homes, in the name of Jesus, God. So if anyone is demonized in our home, they cannot, come on. They, oh, my God, I'm telling you, Jesus. Mm. God's going to speak to God's getting ready to speak. Come on, to some pharaohs. God is getting ready to speak to some Nebuchadnezzar. God's going to speak to some people that's backslidden in our homes. My God, yes. Amen. And tell them that you that you yes. mistreat your family, that you mistreat your husband, that you mistreat your wife, that you mistreat those kids. Amen. You better not touch them no more. My God, God, God is getting ready to speak to the backslider. My God, to come back into alignment with Him. I see the, 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 the clarion call. My God, I see the horn. I see the clarion horn in heaven. And then just being sound. My God. It's a call. 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 My God. And it's in his ears. Come on, son. Take heed. I prophesy. The sinner's yeah. ears about to take heed. They're about to take yeah. heed. They're about to take heed. Yeah. They cannot stay in bondage. They cannot stay stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. God is even drawing them. He's drawing them in this hour. He's drawing them. My God. Amen. And this also a presence that's been established. So it's something about this. Come on. Some of you guys going to begin to testify about this and confirm this. Come on. Even with after this word. Amen. There's something about what God is getting ready to do. That doing. The backslidden person in your home will just begin to weep. They don't even want to watch certain things. Amen. And don't be surprised if they started to treat you differently. Like, man, you know, I can't even, you know, talk to them like I used to talk to them. My God. You know, like in a rude kind of way. They'll begin to just be more mindful of how they just approach you in the name of Jesus. And it's God's doing. 
It is God's doing. My God, if God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm, somebody, yes. in the name of Jesus. So, God, God, I thank you, Father God, for this to have your protection for what you're doing, God. We bind up every demonic spirit that's trying to run rampant, God, in our homes, that's trying to run rampant, on our jobs, that's trying to run rampant. Lord, we, 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 we take authority. Come on, God wants us to stand up. Come on. We are demon slayers. It's time to take authority over your workplace. Come on. When you come into the building, come on. It's, it's going to shift. I prophesy we're atmosphere shifters in Jesus' name. It's time to take authority over your home. In the name of Jesus. Come on, when we show up. Come on, the atmosphere is going to shift in Jesus' name. Come on. Some of you guys are going to recognize some supernatural stuff getting ready to take place. Come on, people that are demonized, come on, full mm. of witchcraft are not going to be able to cross the threshold of your home. You know, mm. you don't understand it. Amen. Why they can't cross the threshold is God doing. Amen. Come on, because your house is a safe haven. Your house is a, a dwelling place for oh. God in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And anything that's not of him can't go, can't be in your home, in our home, yeah. in the name of Jesus. Somebody mm. right now, you got to see this thing coming to fruition right now. And we just bind up this hair tonight. We bind up nightmare spirits in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, right now, God, that each and every one of us, God, we can sleep well at night. We'll be well rested, Father, in the nighttime hour, in the name of Jesus. Come on, I bind up stress. I know some of you guys, you've been going through some heavy stuff. My God. Some heavy stuff. But we just yield that stress to God today. Come on, we cast our cares to him. We cast our cares. It's not God's will for us to be anxious. Mm-hmm. Cast it. And I can even feel someone being dizzy on here. I bought up, come on, dizziness. I bought up, what is it? Uh, I can't think of the word right now, the medical term. But I bought up dizziness. You know, vertical. I'm buying vertical up in the name of Jesus. And I speak right now to your equilibrium system. Amen. That is normal in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you. Right now, Father, come on, that we just cast our cares. Come on, come on, let's just cast our cares. We've got to shift this line today. Come on, whatever is on your heart today, whatever on your mind, give it to God. Amen. For the next few minutes, let's cast our cares. Let's cry to God for a fresh and dwelling of his presence every day. We need a fresh touch every single day. So, God, we cast our cares, Jesus. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. we cast our cares. Yes, cry out, make a sound. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Every chair. Every chair. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to your name, oh God. Father, on today, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But I can still see the clarion, the, the clarion horn. There's a, there's a horn called clarion. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a different kind of horn, amen. And I can still see it in my eye, amen, in the spirit, amen. I can still see it, amen. There has been a clarion sound, a clarion call today. So we're going to see the salvation for of the Lord in our household. Amen? Mm-hmm. That is the word that they can take that to the bank. Mm-hmm. We're going to see some salvation. Mm-hmm. Amen? Mm-hmm. You've been praying too long. Amen? For your family members. Mm-hmm. My God. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, some of our family members are paying attention and listening to God through us. And some, yeah. so many seeds have been planted. So many seeds have been watered. Mm-hmm. And God is getting ready to give the inkles. I can see the clarion horn. And she's, I can mm-hmm. see it. Mm. I can see this horn in the name of you. I can see it. God, I thank you for your horn. And Jesus, just sounding that, just making that sound. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. So I need you to rejoice and be encouraged. That just know that God is getting ready to save some of your loved ones. Amen. Your loved ones, maybe they were on fire for God. They walked away. Maybe they backslid. Oh, my God. Maybe they didn't, never knew the Lord, Jesus. You know, but I see this clearing horn being sound in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we thank you for the alarm being sound today in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I'm going to make these announcements. It's not going to be a long call because I have to do another job. Amen. Got to go do a photo shoot with my husband and help him out today. Um, so, anywho, God, and I'm his assistant, so I got to, you know, pull it into different directions. But God gives me the grace. Amen. And I want to encourage mm-hmm. somebody, don't get, don't get discouraged. Don't get uh, feeling some kind of way. God has anointed you for you, what you're called to do. Amen. You are anointed. Mm-hmm to do what you're called to do in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. So if you want to bless the ministry, you can go to my website at prophetsk.org and go to cash at dollar sign, Prophet Kimberly Moses. Amen. Or you can go to my Venmo, Kimberly Moses 19. Um, and God is so good. God is so good. So um, I posted Amen. a new interview today. Please check that out at Rejoice Essential Magazine Facebook page. Amen. We have a brand new book out. It's called All Things Relationships. Uh, um, I posted the interview with one of my co-authors. Don't forget, next Wednesday, we start the five-day All Things Relationship Conference. It's going to be powerful, a night of worship and prayer, five powerful days, amen. We're believing God for miracles and relationships, amen. It's going to be an awesome, awesome time. Don't forget to register for the book fair. We're going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina on July 31st. Don't forget to register, amen. It is free, but if you want to be a vendor, there is a fee, amen. So, anywho, if anybody got a press report today to encourage us, anybody got a press report? Hello? Yes. Hello? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Providence. How are you? I'm doing good. Hello? That's good. Yeah, I got a press report. I just, um... First, I just want to thank God, you know, for what he's doing in my life and stuff and for the prayer line and his family. I'm so grateful for you, Prophetess. And I enjoyed you on the um, call last night. Was it called the call room? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I seen you on there last night. It was great. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. But um, I just went to my mailbox today, and I just received an unexpected gift card in the mail. I was waiting on it. I just forgot all about it. Yes. And I'm about to tear it up, too. It's a $200 Visa gift card. And I just thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Money in the mail, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. Hallelujah. I'm next. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Anyone else got a press report? Nobody else got a press report? All right. Well, let's go out and do a quick Q&A. Anybody need prayer today? I do, Prophetess. Okay. Yes, I just want prayer, you know, for God to just keep, um, you know, ordering my steps and give me direction and just continue to, you know, work in my life. And I'm just ready to walk in my purpose, and I just ask God to reveal the things that he wants me to know and just to order my steps and teach me how to be more obedient to his word. And um, just for favor and just for God to just continue to do the things that he's doing in my life. Okay. So, Father, we just look up, Sylvia, Father, and we just thank you, Father God, for favor. And you just order her steps in the name of Jesus Christ. And, God, we just bind up all distractions in the name of Jesus. And, God, we thank you, Father God, for the prosperity anointing that hit her life, God, that you have given her hands for to get wealth. And whatever she touched, whatever her hands touch, they will prosper in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we thank you, God, for wisdom right now, God, wisdom. 
Lord, that you would just pour out, God, upon her, and that you would just keep, continue to guide her, God, and just direct her path, Father, and keep her on a straight and narrow, Father. And God, we thank you for just removing the wrong people and sending the right people. And just get ready for divine connection coming your way. So, God, we thank you, Father God, for divine connection coming the woman of God's way in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for the back pay coming her way in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we even thank you for strength, God. We thank you, Father God, right now, Father, that as she reads your word, Father, she will get more clarity and direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You're welcome. Amen. All right. God bless you. Anyone else in prayer? Yes, Papa. Oh, I need you. Can you hear me? Okay. Is that, are, is that Stephanie here? Yes. I just want you to touch and agree with uh, with prayer for my my son, my middle son, Yadaya Ham. He has some um, uh, court issues that he has to take care of. And um, I'm just believing God that, that once this is taken care of, that God raise him up to be uh, who he called him to be. Amen. 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 So let's go ahead and pray for you, Daya. Father, we just lift up you, Daya, right now, God. And, God, we decree and declare right now, Father, in Jesus' name, that you will just give him a miracle, God, in the courtroom. Yeah. You will give him a miracle, God, in the legal in this legal situation. God, you have done it for me so many times. Even when I was guilty, God, I repented, and you just made a way, Father, out of no way, because you are a righteous judge. So, God, I ask you to favor you, Daya. I pray that he repent. I pray that the cycle is broken, whatever that got him there in the first place. God, that the demonic attack will just break in Jesus' name, that he'll get in right alignment and right standing with you, Father, and he'll recognize that it's you, God, that's giving him the victory. It's you, Father, that's moving in the courtroom. So, Lord, I pray that he will seek you and turn to you in this hour as never before and actually pray and fast and seek your face for guidance and counsel. But, God, I thank you that you would give him favor right now with the judge. God, touch the judge's heart. Touch the prosecutor's heart. Touch the um, public defender or the lawyer's heart in Jesus' name. God, if there's a jury involved, touch the jury's heart in the name of Jesus. And God, give him peace. Give him peace that surpasses all understanding. Let him know that you got this underneath control, Father God. And God, we thank you, Father God, that every judgment against him will just be brought to naught in Jesus' name, be brought to nothing. And God, we thank you that he will have freedom and he will um, get the victory in the courtroom. We decree it now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless. All right. Someone else, someone else had a praise report. Uh, not a praise report, but uh, um, yeah. Uh-huh. Is that Annette? Hello. Yes. God bless you, Prophet is K. I'm calling in today because I'm getting ready to go for a certification testing, and I'm just asking God to. Help me pass it. I'm going on the 23rd of this month, so I just need you to agree with me that the Lord will help me pass this test. Amen. Amen. So, so Father, Amen. we just looked up a net right Amen. now, and, God, we just Amen. call out the 23rd of June, God, and we speak blessings over that day for her, God. We speak right now peace over that day for her in the name of Jesus. And, God, we speak right now, God, on the 23rd, God, when she goes and she takes this test, God, it will be a peaceful day. She will feel your presence as never before, that you will be in her mind, God, and you will bring up all the right answers, God. As she sits down and tests, Father God, we bind up testing anxiety, God. We decree and declare that she will pass this test, God. She will get certified, God. She will pass this test, God. God, we thank you, Father God. That failure is not an option, Father. And, God, we thank you that everything she has prepared and studied for, God, God, she will pass this test in excellence. So, God, we thank you that you are even touching her mind. We bind up this memory loss. We bind up any confusion. We bind up just uh, fear. We take authority over that. We cast that out. We just thank you, God. We we agree by faith she will pass this test in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Prophetess Kay. Oh. Thank you. God bless. You're welcome. And I can do one more when I got to get out of here. I would like to pray. So anyone else? I would. Okay. Who, who, what's your name? Oh, this is Melissa J. <laughs> oh, okay. What's up, girl? I've been praying for your mom. I've been praying for you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything is, is working out for 
the best. Um, but I need prayer for myself. Like right now, it's a lot of procrastination, a lot of blockages. I'm trying to get projects done, and it's just like I'm sitting around staring at the wall instead of doing what I need to do. Even like what yeah. you were saying today, whatever God called you to do, do it. And I'm like, I'm just, I can't move. Mm. All right, so Father, we just lift up Melissa J. We just come against procrastination. We come against uh, stagnancy. We break that off in Jesus' name. And even as I said that, I just begin to see change break off your feet in the name of Jesus. Mm. So, Lord, I thank you. We just break off stagnancy now in Jesus' name. And, Lord, I ask you right now to touch her right now in Jesus' name. And, God, we just ask you right now to remove every distraction, God. Bless her to keep pushing and plowing as never before. And, God, we thank you that you just loosen anointing, God, and give her a supernatural grace, God, of acceleration to even catch mm. up, God, on those projects. Give her a supernatural grace of acceleration, Father God. So, Father, she can do what she is what she is called to do in Jesus' name. God bless her projects. God, in the name of Jesus, and God, we thank mm-hmm. you and thank you. Um, and I just even come against any fear that will even try to hold you back. Lord, I bind mm-hmm. up any fear right now in Jesus' name, and God, loosen anointing right now, and uh, just in Jesus' name. And even as I said that, Amen. I see the words propel, propel, and God is getting ready to propel you forth, and you're going to see him. It's going to be all him in Jesus' name, and you're going to say, like, wow, God, we did it. We did it. So, God, I thank Mm. you for even propelling her forth in Jesus' name right now. Touch her and give her peace and give her strength in her body right now, and just just renew your mind. I pray that she renews her mind every single day, that she can do all things to you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you, woman of God. I love you. You too. Thank you. Amen. All right, you guys, I have to run and go. I love you guys. Please meet us back to the fire. You have a beautiful day. God bless you. you. Love you too.